Just try new things. Don't be afraid. Step out of your comfort zones and sort. All right. You may not always have a comfortable life and you will not always be able to solve all of the world's problems at once. But don't ever underestimate the importance you can have because history has shown us that courage can be contagious and hope can't take on a life of its own. You should never view your challenges as a disadvantage. Instead, it's important for you to understand that your experience facing and overcoming adversity is actually one of your biggest advantages. We learn need about honesty and integrity, that the truth matters, that you don't take shortcuts or play by your own set of rules, and success doesn't count unless you earn it fair and square. One of the lessons that I grew up with was to always stay true to yourself and never let what somebody else says distract you from your goals. And so when I hear about negative and false attacks, I really don't invest any energy in them. Because I know who I am. Let's be very clear. Strong men Men who are truly role models don't need to put down women to make themselves feel powerful. People who are truly strong lift others up. People who are truly powerful bring others together. We learn need about gratitude and humility. That so many people had a hand in our success. From the teachers who inspired us to the janitors who kept our school clean. And we were taught to value everyone's contribution and treat everyone with respect. We need to do a better job of putting ourselves higher on our own to-do list. You have to stay in school. You have to you have to go to college. You have to get your degree. Because that's the one thing people can't take away from you is your education. And it is worth the investment. If my future were determined just by my performance on a standardized test, I wouldn't be here. I guarantee you that. The truth is, in order to get things like universal health care and a revamped education system, then someone is going to have to give up the piece of their pie so that someone else can have more. I have learned that as long as I hold fast to my beliefs and values, and follow my own moral compass, then the only expectations I need to live up to are my own. When it comes to social media, there are just times I turn off the world, you know. There are just some times you have to give yourself space to be quiet, which means you've got to set those phones down. Success is only meaningful and enjoyable if it feels like your own. Choose people who lift you up. For the first time in my adult lifetime, I am really proud of my country. And not just because Iraq has done well, but because I think people are hungry for change. And I have been desperate to see our country moving in that direction. You don't have to be somebody different to be important. You're important in your own right. Through my education, I didn't just develop skills. I didn't just develop the ability to learn, 
but I develop confidence. All of us are mentors. Your mentors right here and now. And one of the things I've always done throughout my life, I have always found that person, that group of people that I was going to reach my hand out and help bring them along with me. Find people who will make you better. Our greatness has always come from people who expect nothing and take nothing for granted. Folks who work hard for what they have, then reach back and help others after them. I have never felt more confident in myself, more clear on who I am as a woman, but I am constantly thinking about my own health and making sure that I'm eating right and getting exercise and watching the aches and pains. I want to be this really fly 80-90 year old. Do not be afraid to ask for help. Nobody gets through college on their own. We learn need about dignity and decency. That how hard you work matters more than how much you make. That helping others means more than just getting ahead yourself. I never cut class. I loved getting A's. I liked being smart. I liked being on time. I thought being smart is cooler than anything in the world. I've seen firsthand that being president doesn't change who you are. It reveals who you are. The problem is when the fun stuff becomes the habit. And I think that's what's happened in our culture. Fast food has become the everyday meal. Elections aren't just about who votes but who doesn't vote. The fact is, with every friendship you make, and every bond of trust you establish, you are shaping the image of America projected to the rest of the world. That is so important. So when you study abroad, you're actually helping to make America stronger. Here in America, we don't let our differences tear us apart. Not here. Because we know that our greatness comes from when we appreciate each other's strengths, when we learn from each other, when we lean on each other, because in this country, it's never been each person for themselves. No, we're all in this together. We always have been.